Now, I can't convene a confirmation hearing. We're in the minority. But just because Republicans refuse to do their job on Judge Carlin's nomination doesn't mean that we Democrats will stop doing ours. At the time, we walked past the daycare center. Neither of us said anything. We just kept walking. And there were cars that literally were still smoldering. Watching Merrick literally um, navigate his way to make sure that everybody had a role, everybody had their voices heard, uh, was just something remarkable. And Merrick is calm under pressure. You never really know what's going on in his, in his head. And he's always 25 steps ahead of everybody else. The decency to provide a hearing and let the American public view Judge Garland under questioning, vetted fully, at a minimum, is the decent thing to do. Whether it is compelled by law or not, it is certainly compelled by tradition and decency. He is, many people have said, a judge's judge. Uh, that he's a judicial craftsman of the highest order. And in order to do that, it takes long hours immersing himself in the cases and the briefs. And one of the really vivid, indelible images from my time uh, during the clerkship is that right around 6 p.m., uh, Judge Garland uh, would be, I would see him f sort of furiously and feverishly packing uh, cases and binders into his briefcase uh, and then rushing out of the office with a quick good night to make sure that he made it home to have dinner with his wife Lynn and his two daughters. There was nothing that was more important than that. He definitely wanted to have the material later in the evening in order to review, uh, but nothing was more important than that. And I want to thank the witnesses. I mean, what you're doing is allowing the public to see what we senators who've had a chance to meet uh, Merrick Garland have seen, just what a fine jurist he is, what a fine judge he is, and what a fine individual he is. It's a shame my Republican colleagues, especially those who did not sit down with just Judge Garland, uh, aren't here to see hear that. I get frustrated when I hear some of these lobbying groups uh, going attacks against him. Of course, he can't, he can't respond to those. He can't respond to them. If he had a hearing, of course, he could be asked the questions. And knowing, knowing Judge Garland as I do, he would have answered to all of them and swat them down.